before the Lord Jesus ascended to heaven, he said that the Holy Spirit would come and dwell within us. And I urge you to hold on to the words that Jesus spoke concerning the Holy Spirit. In John 14, from verse 16, our Lord said, I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, who will be with you forever. That helper is the Spirit of Truth. The world cannot accept him, because it doesn't see him or know him. You know him, because he lives with you and will be in you. Our Lord promised us a helper. And I urge you as fellow believers, as children of God, invite the Holy Spirit into your life. Invite him into your day. He is the helper given to us by God, the third person of the Holy Trinity. And if you find it hard to pray, if you're struggling with your prayer life, invite the Holy Spirit to help you. The Bible says the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. If you are weak and you need strength just to get through the day, invite the Holy Spirit into your heart. The Bible says the Spirit helps us in our weakness. If you feel bound, if you feel weighed down, if you are there burdened by anything, anything at all, then the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 3 verse 17, Now the Lord is Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. You can find freedom from whatever burdens you when you invite the Holy Spirit in. When you understand God and the Holy Spirit, you will realize that you need Him. You need His fellowship. You need His counsel each and every day. So join me wherever you are as we pray and invite the Holy Spirit into our day, into our room, whether you're in your car, wherever you are, open your heart, open your heart to the Holy Spirit and welcome Him. And so, let us pray. My dear Heavenly Father, I seek your presence today. I seek communion with you. Make your presence known to me, Lord. Make your presence known to me, Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, your word says in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8 that you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And I am asking today that the Holy Spirit comes upon me. May it completely invade the space that I am in. May the Holy Spirit take up every space and place within me so that I may receive the supernatural power and walk in the authority of a child of God. Come upon me, Holy Spirit, so that my spirit and my soul, so that my mind has no room to receive anything else that is not of God. Fill me up so that the devil and his demons will only see you when they try and target my life. Fill me with your presence and enable me to walk in the way that the Lord intended for me to walk and live this life. I invite you to come and live in the chambers of my heart. Be found to always be with me. Be found in my home. Holy Spirit, be found to influence my mind and my thoughts. Influence me so that I may be renewed in my thinking so that I may be filled with godly thoughts, thoughts of preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, thoughts of peace and love. Holy Spirit, I ask that you be my advocate, so that when the devil accuses me, I pray that you are my counsellor, 
my defender and my supporter. Be found to be my teacher and instructor Holy Spirit. Help me to understand the ways of the Lord. Help me to be a doer of the word, not just a hearer. Instruct me on how to walk, how I should speak to others, how I should pray and talk to Christ, how to live a righteous and godly life. Teach me and instruct me in all things concerning a life that is pleasing to God. Strengthen me that my faith may not waver and shake all the time. But I want to stand firm in God's promises, to stand firm in faith. I pray that the Holy Spirit be found to be my comforter, an ever-present helper in the time of trouble. Never leave me to face this life alone. It's you, Holy Spirit, that makes us wise. And it's you that helps to reveal God to us. Help me to be wise throughout this day, to make wise decisions and to navigate this life with wisdom. Help me to understand the mind of God and his will and purpose for me as a believer. Holy Spirit, I pray that you help me to see the hand of God and all of his goodness in my life. Help me even to understand the things of God. It's you that enlightens our spiritual eyes in our hearts in order to see God and his ways more clearly. I ask that you give me the divine knowledge that will help me in my daily walk with Christ. It's you Holy Spirit that marks us as belonging to God. You are the royal seal of my salvation. God Almighty looks down from heaven and knows me to be his child because of you, Holy Ghost. I thank you that you are my direct line through Jesus to the Father. Continue to convict me of sin so that I may purge my heart, so that I may repent and pursue a blameless and holy life. Enlighten me about the need for righteousness in my life, the need for daily devotion and prayer. Help and teach me to develop a greater reliance on the Lord. Help me to understand that I cannot rely on human wisdom, on strength, on my own abilities alone. I need you. I need the power of God. I need the Spirit of God. Open my spiritual eyes to see things deeper than what's on the surface. Let me not just see and believe what I am seeing with my natural eyes, but instead I pray that you give me a spirit of discernment. Enlighten things through my spiritual eyes so that I may be more effective as a Christian. Help me to look at myself and identify those areas that are not completely yielded or fully surrendered to God. And as I pray, as I agree with each person listening, everyone who is opening their heart to you right now, may you fill them with your presence. For the one that needs the strength to get through this day, Holy Spirit, I pray that you be their supernatural source of strength. For the person that woke up hurting, for the one who is in pain, Holy Spirit, be the source of divine comfort. Quiet their troubled heart. For the one who is in a place where they feel lost, where they need direction. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you be a wise counsel to them. Lord, you say in your word that you have sent a helper, a helper who will teach us all things and bring to our remembrance all that you have said to us. May the Holy Spirit be my reminder 
so that I may remember that when God is for me, there is none who can be against me. May the Holy Spirit remind me always that the Lord said nothing can separate us from his love. Nothing can take the love of God away from me. May you remind me, Holy Spirit, in those low moments that nothing, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither my fears today nor my worries about tomorrow can separate me from the powerful love of God. May you remind me that I am bought with a price. Therefore my self-worth is not determined by the things of this world. Help me to know who I am in Christ, Holy Spirit. Father, I know that the Holy Spirit is indwelling in the hearts of all those that have placed their trust in Christ as their Saviour. And as a believer who has accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Saviour, I am thankful for the blessing of continuous daily access to the Holy Spirit. For wherever I go, He is with me. Thank you for hearing this prayer and for everyone who is listening. Lord, I speak your word over their lives. Romans 15 verse 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Amen.